the trap concept and then break it down a little more versus the two by two. I'm going to show you a couple matchups, okay? Again, what is trap? Trap is a part of quarters coverage that allows you to defend that field side flat that everybody's going to try to take advantage of, okay? When, it's, when do you check trap? You check trap if number two is extended, okay? If they're in relationship to do any type of crossing, any type of curl flat, uh, any type of, of out by two and, and fade by number one, you want to have the ability to, uh, to leverage that two to the flat. Okay, here's a three over two concept. The term we use again in quarter situation is trap. All right, in situation to, to determine how the corner safety and the flat defender, okay, will play uh, the two receivers to their side. All right, combines cover four, cover four, and cover two. Okay, again, where are their eyes? We talked about this already. Alignment. Every time you're teaching the secondary, they need to understand what their alignment is, and their alignment can change. Again, you want to hold a cover two shell in a lot of situations. So you're not giving the quarterbacks opportunity or the coaches on the sideline to do any look-look situation. So you hold that cover for two shell, okay, but your responsibility and your eye control doesn't change. Your alignments may change, but your eye control should always be the same. And the young men need to understand why they're reading what they're reading. High hat me equals pass. Low hat equals run. In middle line of scrimmage is going to tell you if the ball is coming to you or away. The flow tells you if the ball is coming to you or away. The triangle helps that high safety read run or pass. Okay, quarterback down the ball down the lane. Okay, coming down the line, what is he running? Or is it a, some type of sprint out, speed option, uh, or is he just doing a handoff, drop back, three step, five step? Then when he moves the last point for your sprint out and your option, speed option. Okay, number two. Two is very critical. Two can only do one of three things, like I mentioned earlier. He can go out, he can go vertical, he can go in. Okay, and depending on what two does, that's how we're going to match up versus the verticals or the flat or any type of route concept they give us. And then we read number one if two tells us to. Okay, trap technique. Here's a couple quick reminders. We went through these already, okay? Okay, again, reading high hat, boom. Read number two. Two's out. We know right now the corner's going to split the zone. He's the flat defender. The star's the curl defender. And the safety's going to be over top for the, he's going to take the curl, the upfield short of the curl. Okay? Putting it all together. The corner's going to split the zone and drive. When the quarterback throws the flat, the star's the curl. And the safety's also on top of the curl. Okay? Again, here's two to the flat now. The curl all together. And you see how we match it up. Reading again, uh, ML line scrimmage for the star. High hat that's passed. The lane by the quarterback is dropped back. He's dropping back three-step or five-step. Okay. Reading two, two to the flat. We know right now what, how the corner's going to play that. So we'll split the zone. We know right now that the star's eyes have got to go to one. So does the safeties. Their eyes go to one. The safety sees one running down the field. Safety picks up one. And the star's going to uh, relate to the hash. Okay. Here we go all together. Boom. Flat. Split the zone. And vision and break again. That corner's reading the intentions of the quarterback. Again, alert the cheetah. Here we go. Alert the cheetah concept. Okay, alert where number three is. Here's another trap call. Uh, two by two. Okay, again, high hat pass. Two's running vertical. We know right now that the, the star's responsibility is to reroute that two out of the scene. The scene. We keep talking about the scene. What is the scene? Well. We always determine the seam is two yards inside or outside the hash, depending on where that ball is. We want to force that number two in this situation outside the seam because he lined up outside the seam. We're going to force him with our outside hand and force him over top of the star. The safety is going to buy number two. The corner knows right now I buy number one if he's running a vertical route. If he's not running a vertical route, then I alert the star that he's running in, in, in. So I'll just make a China call to gain the eyes of the star to number one. That's how we match up with the corner. Stars going to reroute. Safety will match up on the vertical. Okay, all together, two verts. We match it up. You can't run in two verts and quarters. You need to do a great job of repping that, repping, repping three over two concepts with the trap. Here's a cheetah alert again. Two or three relationship to, to cross. We know right now, you see number two, he's going across my face. My eyes need to go to three. For the star, as far as the star is concerned, the star will pick up. Number three, the safety in the corner will drive on the curl of number one. The mic picks up 
number three, and again on the back side, we haven't talked about it because trap again is to two receivers. Okay. All together. It's a great job picking that up. That's how we'll relate to it. Which one do we want to force them to throw it to? Throw it to the flare, get a star opportunity to vision and break and go make a tackle, and we'll all rally to the ball. Okay? Again, as you're reading again, we talked about, okay, in man line scrimmage. Here's a sprint out. The quarterback's moving the launch point. The corner is going to start to sink. Boom, he's going to sit down and split the zone. Okay, seeing two, he sees two's vertical, so he knows he got to split the zone at 12 yards, be able to play underneath number two. Okay, and then give a China call to get that star's eyes out to one, and the star's going to run to number one. That's how we'll match up. Again, we'll take our linebacker game plan wise. One of our linebackers will be secondary contained. The other linebacker will push to the hash. 